96, the year our world turned to ashes. The atomic flame unleashed by the leaders of the East and West, like a genie from his bottle, circled the globe in a mere minutes and devoured it to the bone. Without sparing neither the innocent nor the guilty, without naming a victor to the bloody war, a nuclear blaze destroyed everything in its path, including the reasons for the conflict that sent the remnants of humanity back into the dark ages, back into the primeval state with no government, no technology, no culture, and no morals. Two thousand and fifth. Nineteen years have passed from the day of the Great Purge. Both once glorious empires and their loyalists now lie in ruins. However, amidst these ruins, new civilizations start to rise up to the unforgiving sun. From the rusted, radioactive derelict of the old world, new absent states, both brave and wild emerge to join the never-ending battle for the right to exist on the planet, mutilated beyond recognition by the flames of apocalypse. Hi. Say what you want, but that was an epic intro. So this is a newly released game, Atom RPG. It's a Russian, as you can hear in the music, and it was released maybe yesterday, and it's based on Fallout and uh, Wasteland kind of inspirations. I was instantly when I saw the trailer, I was hyped to buy it. So this was a hype buy. Hopefully, it's good. Let's go. Oh shit! And it also said that you have a lot of like character configurations to do that you can make your own real character strength the maximum carry weight melee and unarmed damage as well as the subterfuge skill are all dependent on strength endurance the maximum health total resistance against negative effects as well as the survival skill all depend on endurance dexterity the ability to dodge blows combat speed Accuracy in melee combat as well as in melee combat as well as lock picking and deft skills all depend on dexterity. Intelligence, intellect. Affect the amount of skill points you get each level. Oh, and opens new dialogue options. Okay, average IQ. Okay, so you can be smarter with this one. This was quite nice. Attention. Attention governs accuracy, range combat and helps you notice easy to miss details in dialogues and in your surroundings. Personality affects the speechcraft and barter skills. The people of the wastes react to your presence depending on your personality. Luck luck almost affects almost any action in a small amount. Okay, so it, okay. Okay, so then we have skills, martial arts, this skill governs your ability to use kicks and punches in combat, melee weapons, your skill with knives, axes and shivs, hmm. pistols and small machine guns, this skill governs your ability to handle smaller guns like pistols or machine guns, submachine guns, rifles and shotguns, this skill is responsible for larger firearms, rifles and shotguns. Atomic firearms. This skill is responsible for larger firearms, assault rifles and machine guns. Holy shit, there's lots of skills here. You actually have to go quite uh, niche into something. You can't put like in atomic firearms and uh, for example shotguns or SMGs. No, no, it, uh, it doesn't affect smaller submachines. Holy shit. Throwing weapons. Your ability to throw knives and grenades in combat. Oh, speechcraft. This skill is your ability to influence others with words. It also helps avoiding fights with bandits on global map. Barter. The skill for trading and getting discounts while bartering. 
gambling. With this skill you will become more successful in gambling. Also you may get special dialogue options with the other with other gambling people. Survival, the skill. The skill with which you survive the hardships of the wastelands helps you find interesting spots during your travels and avoid combat on the global map. Okay. First aid, the skill with which you administer First aid for minor injuries. It also lowers the probability of gaining negative traits like alcoholism, drug addiction, etc. Okay, stealth. The ability to hide from others while stealth stealing their possessions. So you can st stealth while stealing. Oh my god, that's actually quite amazing. Because I like those. I'm not sure if I want to go a game where I save and load all the time. Like I usually do with stealing. Let's see. We could actually go a game where I don't do those ones, so it's actually a bit gamble to do it. Lockpicking. The ability to successfully open locks. <coughs> Pickpocket. The ability of picking the pockets of fellow wasteland dwellers. Technology. The skill that measures your understanding of pre-war technology and your ability to use it. Tinkering. The skill which governs your ability to create various items that can help you in your journey. Holy shit, that's a lot of skills. Okay, let's go through the... Health symbolizes the amount of damage you may receive before death. Depend on strength and endurance. Dodge governs your chance to avoiding an attack. Depends on dexterity. Action points. The amount of actions you may do during one turn in battle. Depends on dexterity. Carry weight. Depends on strength. Melee damage on strength. Skill points per level depends on intellect. We could actually gam play around a bit and see how many skill points we get. Radi radiation resistance. How resistant you are on getting radi radiation points depending on endurance. Toxicity resistance. How well you resist poisons and toxins depends on endurance. Sequence. What? The order in which your turn comes up in battle depends on dexterity and attention. Regeneration, how quickly your health regenerates passively as time passes, depends on endurance. Critical hit, depends on luck. Just gonna check for fun. Because you get 1% per... I see. You start with 1 and it's 1 per, okay. Do we have any... Oh my god! You pretty! Holy shit! She looks like, yeah, what is it? it was 86 or what's the year? At least the intro was from 86. I'm just curious because this looks like some 50s picture. <laughs> it looks like some Austria. Oh. Okay, so. Oh my god, they've actually focused a lot on the. This one. Oh, there she was. I'm not sure if I want to go lady or boy. Lady boy? Lady boy? Anyway, black belt. Here are some distinctions. Probably like perks. Black belt. You were a martial arts enthusiast from early childhood, but you never liked shooting. Plus one endurance, plus 15 martial arts, plus 15 melee weapons, minus five to dodge. Wait, if I have black belt, don't I know how to dodge? Anyway, cannibal. We don't know why, but you show cannibalistic tendencies, and that's creepy. You can harvest meat from killed humans. Mm. Minus two personality, plus 15 survival. Sex appeal. You are drop dead crazy gorgeous to the opposite sex, but your own sex tends to become jealous. Plus two personality and plus 15 partner with the opposite gender. Minus two personality and minus 15 partner to your own gender. What if they're lesbians? Hmm. Child prodigy. You're pretty good, but it's hard for you to learn something new. Plus one int, plus one personality, plus one attention, minus 50 to exp gained. Anabolics fan. You used chems to quicken muscle growth, and it shows. Plus two strength, minus one int, minus eight dodge, minus five radiation, and toxic resistance, plus 20 carry weight. Damn, that was a lot of minus. Technophobe. 
you never like crafting or relying on tech, a simple shovel is better than any tractor. What? Ah, technophobe. Okay, yeah, yeah, because phobia. Yeah. Plus one strength, plus one endurance, minus 30 technology, minus 30 crafting. Diplomat. You are the best at talking publicly, and you always look for a peaceful solution. However, your fighting skills are poor. <coughs> Plus 3 personality, plus 20 speechcraft, minus 1 strength, minus 3 sequence, minus 10 to all combat skills. Shit. Ascetic. You need little for survival, thus you don't carry much. Twice the time to get hungry, plus 10 survival, minus 1 strength, minus 7 to carry weight. Okay, so apparently you get hungry in the game also. Damn, lots to keep track of. Slick dealer. Money rules the world, and you are ready to bargain with anyone, just to make a profit. Plus one personality, plus one attention, plus ten barter, plus ten speechcraft. Minus five sequence, minus one strength, minus ten carry weight. I think sequence is gonna be quite important. Because you don't want to end up being surrounded if you have really bad at sequence. If everybody else gets to move quicker than you. Slick dealer, money rules the world, and you are ready to bargain... No, I just read that one, didn't I? No. Savage Hunter, you love to lose yourself in the hunt. However, spending most of your time hunting game and traveling light, you never get a habit to bait or shave regularly. Plus 20 damage to animals, you can skin animals without a knife. Plus minus 2 personality, minus 15 carry weight. I think, uh, okay, personality is probably... Since I don't shower and stuff. Morphine Doctor. You're a drug addicted intellectual, plus one intellect, plus 50 first aid, plus 50 addiction chance, okay. Damn, that's bad. Apparently you can get addicted to more, to the healing then. Hobby engineer, you always love tinkering, sadly, but doing so in poorly lit rooms didn't help your eyesight. You start off with basic crafting recipes, minus one attention, minus one personality, plus 20 tinkering and technology. Glutton. You need to eat more, but your huge stomach offers natural protection. Plus two endurance, hunger hits you two times faster. Uh, circus education. An old carny once taught you his craft. Plus one dex, plus 15 sneak, plus 10 lock picking and pickpocket. Minus 20 carry weight. Minus seven sequence. Holy shit. Minus seven sequence. Is that actually this one? Do you get minus seven on this? Cursed Sniper. An old gypsy cursed you for shooting her pet crow. Plus two attention, plus seven aim shot chance, minus two luck, minus seven sequence, minus ten to ordinary shot chance. Okay, so... Oh, okay. <coughs> you need to aim. Yeah. Lone Wolf. You are much more comfortable with being alone. After all, having sidekicks is nothing but a burden. When alone. Plus 2 attention, plus 5 sequence, plus 10 kilos to carry weight. When with follower, minus 2 attention, minus 20 survival, minus 7 sequence. Damn. It's like you actually lose stuff to pick some of these. It feels like you're losing important stuff. Shooting gallery fan. All your spare time was spent inside a shooting of a shooting gallery where you tried out all sorts of weapons. This, however, made you forget all about physical training. Plus 15 gun related skills, plus 5 sequence, minus 15 to unarmed, minus 1 to endurance. This is actually quite good. Because I don't feel like unarmed is something I need, and endurance I can pick here. So that might be one that we're going for. Lucky one, you were always lucky enough to breeze, to breeze through life without even trying. This however resulted in a lack of skills. Plus 3 luck, plus 2 personality, plus 15 speechcraft, minus 1 endurance, minus 10 to all skills apart from speechcraft. So you lose everything except speechcraft. Damn. Leader, you could always inspire people to become your followers. However, they need so much attention all the time. For every follower you get, plus 7 speechcraft, plus 5 first aid, plus 5 barter, minus 1 attention, plus Minus one dexterity. Follow game. Plus one. Holy shit. That's actually really good. I don't know how many followers you have. Does animals count if you have a dog? Hmm. 
Unlucky optimist. You're unlucky most of the time, but when luck finally does smile your way, you win big time. Critical hit damage up. 2 plus 2 endurance, minus 5 critical chance, minus 1 lack luck. I wanna check this one. This is the. Yeah. Oh my god, everything gets minus here. But speech goes up 15 though. So I'm, I'm thinking this one for guns. Why is this so high? I can't go down on anything. Because it feels like martial arts is really high. Is it needed in the beginning of the game, perhaps? Because I'm thinking now to go for stealth lockpicking and pickpocket. So I like being able to enter those kind of areas. So that would mean going for this one. Shooting gallery fan. And then the... Which one was it? Something that was good for the. Damn. Can't find it. Was it this one? Yeah. It seems to even make uh, weapons better. Ah, oh, it's because of dexterity. Could it be? Let's try to see. Does dexterity increase? Yeah, it increases all those. Plus, it increases the lock picking and minus seven sequence though. Why is uh, this one up now? Did we get it from here? Yeah. So I'm guessing these two could be good. We are quite high on stealth lock picking and pickpocket now. And then what happens if we go to? Oh my God! How hard? I can go eleven. This one doesn't affect the... Uh, it affects rifles and shotguns, but it doesn't affect the... Uh, automatic firearms. But I don't know, are they hard to get? Maybe. I don't need this high, I was just checking. Sequence 14. Wouldn't want to go under 10 sequence, I think, because that was default. That's probably quite important. 29 health. What was the normal one? Start with 31. Okay, so you lost two. Endurance. Let's go up on endurance. Personality. I don't need speech crap. I've never. F scumbag. Oh my god, you see, you hate it. Scumbag. What a bore. Tactless. Average. A nice person. Soul of the party. Entertainer. I really feel like we're losing a lot by removing stuff. This is much better than Fallout in picking these ones. Average IQ, smart, intellectual. Yeah, this was good for skill points per level though. Like you can see we get 15. We can increase these quite quick if we go for int. 17, 10. It's quite high, it's like 15 sneak, 10 lock picking and pickpocket. And here we get 15 to all gun related skills. I feel like we need to go those. How's the carry weight? 28 kilos. Oh my god, did you see how much it increased? It's like, is it 8 per level? Yeah. 8 kilo per strength. 8 kilos per strength. What might a gun weigh? 5, 6 kilos? Attention. This is a currency. Damn. This is... Uh, We go down on the personality. Let's 
good on, on personality. I don't know if luck... Well, luck might affect stealth and pickpocketing, though. And we have 20 points to put out there also. But I don't think we need much personality. I feel like um, we can be assholes. I don't need to be hated, that's quite bad. Int, uh, dex. Oh, action points nine. Does it go up with one each level? No. So it's quite important to stick at eight then. Eight decks to get nine action points. I don't know how much shooting takes though. What's um? Uh, because this had to with a courtesy to do. Sniper, eagle eye. Pistols and SMG goes up quite high on the. What else happens if we put this to 9? Sequence. It seems like this only affects sequence on uh, summary. <coughs> uh, too bad we can't see a currency. But I'm guessing that's dependent on these also, so it's hard to say. I do feel like we need more strength. Or maybe we get someone who can carry for us. Um, that could be one option. This is just crit, I don't know, do we need that one? I think attention is more important than... I like this. Then we can stealth, maybe find traps with attention. Uh, now I'm starting to feel like this is a character I, I enjoy. And now we need to survival. Survival might be important in this game. Can't go down on anything. Can we go down this? No. Um, do we try to go... First aid. That's quite important. Let's take that to 50, maybe? Survival might be important. But, um, because I don't think... What if you have followers and you're walking on the big map? How does it calculate? Is it the one with the highest survival skill that determines your chance of finding... ...being ambushed or whatever? Or is it just... Uh Wait, I need to check something also. Okay, I'm back. Or is it just... Um, or is it everyone? Because if it's everyone, then I understand that it's good to take this up. That's the average of 40 or whatever. But if it's just the one with the top, then it doesn't matter. It, this, uh, I don't know which gun I'm going for yet, so that's why I'm not picking any firearms there. But let's go... Uh, pickpocket, that's stealing. 50. Or picking stealth to... No, 50, 50, 50, 40, 50. Gambling, I don't like gambling. Uh, do we go... There's one point left, I don't know what to put it in. survival and uh, what's our name Hurrit 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 Biography As a cadet of secret organization Adam you went through a standard training program and received an education that should technically assure your survival in the harsh outside world I guess that's fine And also reason why I'm going female is because I think 
in uh, as a female you have easier time in the so-called wastelands I don't know if it's true but that's how I see it oh man that took us almost 20 minutes to create this character not bad okay let's jump into the game and see how it looks oh what is this what are you? An average difficulty level recommended for most players, not too easy, not too hard. Army? A green military jacket and pants belonging to an unknown army regiment. Ah, it's a clothes kit, okay. Action hero, a sleeveless shirt and shorts, best choice for a... for an action hero, what the fuck. A jacket made out of synthetic cloth, sturdy pants and easy to wear sneakers. Do we go... Travel. Normal, but expert. A mode for experienced players, saving only outside of battle. You get less X, harder to avoid random encounters. Survival. A mode for those who'd like to tickle their nerves. Permadeath. Progress is saved only by exiting to the main menu. menu. Okay. Let's go normal. If I like the game, I'll change. Maybe the expert to survival. Let's go. branch of the Soviet army created long before the war, caused by the imperialist conquerors. Our mission does not end in gathering pre-war technology and reviving our Soviet motherland. We also strive to reach the pre-war quality of life for all. To realize those goals, we often send search expeditions into the wasteland. Not long ago, one of such expeditions, led by General Morozov, lost all contact with the base. Our human resources are limited. Therefore, the standard procedure is to send out but a few agents to investigate this problem. You are one of the chosen for this mission. General Morozov's troops had an important quest to locate, control, and study a secret bunker. Bunker 317. According to our data, it is located near the village of Otradnoya. To successfully complete your mission, we recommend you to contact our agent in the city of Krasnos Nemonye, codenamed Fidel. He's hiding in plain sight as a barkeep in the outskirts of the city, so apart from physical aid, he can offer you informational support as well. You will learn the password needed to contact our agent from the envelope. Destroy it upon reading. And remember, your mission is to gather intelligence on the disappearance of Morozov and his troops. No heroics. Wastes are a dangerous place. Good luck, cadet, and let there be atom.